This is like, this is an, a really intriguing kind of area in, in research. Uh, John Barge from um, B-A-R-G-H, Barg maybe, from Yale University has, has done um, experiments on this. And um, another way that, that the effect of the unconscious, the, the par participation and, and the, um, the directive role of the unconscious in our decisions has been demonstrated is through priming. Priming is, is, is similar to hypnosis, but the, the subject is completely awake. In one experiment, for example, there's two groups, the, the, subject, the, um, the subject group and then a control group. Now, the, uh, the, the, um, or the, the target group, I'm sorry. Now, the target group is, um, is asked to, um, to take some words that are given to them and, and make a sentence of them, you know. And they're given, let's say, five, six, seven words. And so, like, in, in this experiment, the target group is given the words old, um, bingo, gray, um, Cain, you know, words, may, maybe not old, because I don't think it's that direct, but words that connote being old, connote the idea, the concept of elderly, okay? And, um, and the, tar the, the control group is, is given just arbitrary words that, that don't have that connotation, have no, you know, no um, implicit connotation. Okay, so then what happens is like um, the subjects complete the test and, and you know, they think the, sub the experiment is over, but it's not, okay, because then <laughs> part of the experiment is they're observed walking from the experimental area to the elevator. This isn't like a high rise, um, you know, to leave the building. They think that, you know, th that everything is done, but they're observed walking, you know, this, this distance, and the curious thing is that um, the, the group, the target group that has been primed with words connoting elderly, walk more slowly than the, um, than the, um, the control group. Okay, so now naturally what, what that tells you is like you have, you have the group, the target group, walking, they're consciously, you know, making their decision to walk to the elevator, you know, but their unconscious mind is participating in that decision and, and how they do it, you know. Um, it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's just a perfect example of, of the, the co collaboration that, that will take place between the unconscious mind and the conscious mind, um, completely unbeknownst to the subject, okay. The subjects, you know, aren't aware at all that that's why they're walking more slowly.